Whether you're a freelance UI UX designer or you're working at a company, time is one of your most valuable assets. So today I'm going to share with you my top five shortcuts to help you save some time. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Adrian Somoza and this is Bond. We're a digital design on Light Academy, helping UI UX designers bridge the gap between dreams and accomplishments. Today, I'm going to share with you my top five Figma shortcuts to 10x your UI UX design process. So let's go. First of all, I wanna say that Figma doesn't allow you as of 2022 January, it doesn't allow you to create your own shortcuts and that's a real bummer. And I really hope that they hear out this video <laughs> and nah, but I really hope that sometime soon they will release this option, right? But for now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to use the shortcuts that Figma provides. So to know all the shortcuts that Figma provides, you go to the bottom right and you click on keyboard shortcuts and you have this nifty panel where you can see all of the shortcuts that Figma provides. Now, again, you cannot create your own shortcuts and that's a real bummer, but you can, you can learn the shortcuts that they provide and I really recommend that you do. Now, let me share my top five, the ones that I use every single day. I'm gonna start with arranging layers. Arranging layers means aligning layers, but also moving them up and down in the, in the layers panel. So first of all, let's talk about alignment. If you click option and you use W A S D, you know, like the games where you move with W A S D. Okay. If, if you're a gamer, you, you know what I'm talking about? Well, it's the same thing here. You, you're using option and you're using W A S D to align to the top align left, align to the bottom and align right. So top, left, bottom, right. And it's as easy as that. And if you do option V and option H, you can center something on an artboard. Now I prefer to use arrows. So what I do is control option command and then use, for example, if I want to align to, to the center vertically, I use control option command and the arrow down here. And if I if I want to align to the center horizontally, I use control option command and arrow left. If if it's aligned to the left, I, I would use arrow right. So I don't know, maybe it's easier to use option V and H, but I don't I think I don't think they are very convenient right now. So I prefer these options. So that's something that you can do. You can align layers to the artboard, but you can also align layers between each other. So if you click two layers, then you can also align them between each other. So that's also really cool and very, very useful because we're using this all the time throughout the day to align things together. The next thing is I wanna share with you how to move layers on the layer panel. So by clicking command option and the arrows up and down, you can move a layer like you can see on the layers panel here. You can move a layer regularly by uh, progressively, sorry, by one layer, right? So that's an easy way. But if let's say there's a lot of layers and you wanna grab this layer and move it to the bottom of the layer panel. So what you can do is Command option and the bracket to the left, and that will bring it down to the bottom of the layer panel. And if you do command option bracket to the right, then it's gonna move it to the top. Now, you wanna maybe check that on Figma and make sure that, you, that it matches what your keyboard needs, because here it says, for example, command and the bracket instead of command option but for me, it doesn't work. So I tried and I found out that it's command option, actually what works for me, probably because of the language, but yeah, you, you might want to check that. So those are the first, what, what I would call the first shortcut because it's a combination of, you know, how to arrange layers in your Figma file. Let's talk about the next shortcut and that's, this is really cool as well. 
you can copy paste properties from one layer to the other. This means colors, shadows, strokes, whatever you, you can think of, images placed in, inside layers. So you can do that by doing option command C, clicking on another layer and doing option command V, like so. And you can also even do it for typography, option command C, option command V, boom. So this is really, really cool and you use it pretty, pretty often. Now let's talk about zoom tools. Let's head over to a Figma file that has a lot of artboards and I want to navigate this file, right? And I'm, I want to do it fast. So what I can use is shift one to have an overview. This helps when, for example, you, you're lost in the, in the canvas. So you just press shift one and then you can see an overview of all the artboards. Then you can click on the artboard that you want to zoom in and you can click shift two to zoom to selection and that will maximize that artboard in the canvas. And then you can click shift zero because you always want to make sure that you're designing at 100% make sure that you're doing that and you're not designing, for example, at 125% because things change when you zoom in or you zoom out. So make sure that you're designing at 100% all the time. Cool. Next shortcut, number four, text alignments. Let me share with you what I use. So if we go here to text, you will see these are, these are all the shortcuts that I could learn. For now, what I'm doing is I'm using text aligns and let me share how I use this. So let's say that, for example, I'm going to go to the first artboard here. And let's say I want to align this text to the center. What I can do is click, press Command Option T. T will center things, center texts, while Command Option L for left will align it to the left and comment option R will align it to the right. So normally you would just click here, but this is a cool way to kind of try out different alignments, right? It's a little bit faster than, than if you have to click. So I like this. Now let's move to the fifth shortcut. And I think this is the most exciting one. Now, you know that on sketch, you would normally have a preview when you select an artboard and you would be able to drag the preview into, for example, Slack or, you know, your even into Figma, right? And have an export of a PNG export or a JPEG export of that file very quickly without having to go through the regular flow of clicking on export and blah, blah, blah. So I researched a way to do that in Figma and I found out that if you click shift command C, you can copy anything as a PNG. So now <laughs> what you can do is you can do shift command C and you go to Slack, for example, shift command V and boom, you have an export of an artboard or you can also shift command C and shift command V a button, for example, or whatever asset that you want to export, right? And I think that's really, really cool. I use this every single day. It saves me so much time. So I'm really happy that I found out this way to export quickly. So those are my top five Figma shortcuts. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out our free online course that more than 1500 designers have already taken. The link is in the description. Help me share this video and let's get to 10,000 subscribers. We are really close, so I'm really happy for that. And that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.